Hello again, and welcome to Granny Dorothy Visits. Today's topic is spiritual radio sets. <laughs> and the first reading from Wayne Dyer's Everyday Wisdom. A few minutes spent in total awe will contribute to your spiritual awakening faster than any metaphysic course. Mm -hmm. And the next one is from a book I haven't read from before, I don't think. It's um, called A Little Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. And my daughter gave this to me years ago. <laughs> and this is called While Running. The quote at the top of the page is from Georgia O'Keeffe. To see takes time. Mm. While running in May, I saw a neatly trimmed hedge and sprouting briskly through its symmetry were scraggly blue flowers wildly obeying no form. It made me smile, for I have spent many years resisting being pruned and shaped. I loved how the wild blue just hung there above the hedge. While running in June, I saw an older man out pruning that hedge. He was so involved, clipping gingerly, then backing up, sweating through his eyes as if the world depended on his di diligence. I was touched by his care. He nodded briefly, and without a word, it was clear that it wasn't the hedge, but that he needed something to care for. I realized this is how I've lived since surviving cancer. While running in August, I came upon a slim fountain gushing from an unseeable center, as high as it could, reaching without arms until it ran out of reach. And at its closest to the sky, it began to fall back on itself, always what was rising up, replacing what was falling down, falling away, sweating and heaving, I realized this is what it means to be free. <laughs> and the last one is from Julia Cameron, but from the artist's way. Okay, I want to start on that one. Sorry, 185. Okay, there it is. Okay. Returning to the notion of ourselves as spiritual radio sets, we need enough energy to raise a strong signal. This is where walking comes in. What we are after what we are after here is a moving meditation. This means one where the act of motion puts us into the now and helps us to stop spinning. 20 minutes a day is sufficient. The object is to stretch your mind more than your body. So there doesn't need to be an emphasis on fitness, although eventual fitness is a likely result. The goal is to connect to a world outside of us, to lose the obsessive self-focus of self-exploration and simply explore. One quickly notes that when the mind is focused on other, the self often comes into a far more accurate focus. It is 6.30 a.m. when the great blue heron, fly, heron stirs from its resting place in the short grasses and rises above the river on huge rhythmic wings. The bird sees Jenny down below. Jenny down below sees the bird. The pumping of her legs carries her in an effortless floating stride. Her spirit soars up to the heron and chirps. Hello, good morning, lovely, isn't it? At this time, in this place, they are kindred spirits. Both are wild and free and happy in their motion. In the movement of the winds, the clouds, and the trees. It is 4.30 p.m. when Jenny's boss looms in the doorway to her office. The new account is being picky and wants still more changes in her copy. Can she handle that? 
Yes, Jenny says. She can because she is still soaring on the glad energy of her morning's run. That heron, the steely blue of its flashing silver as it made that great banking turn. Jenny would not call herself an athlete. She does not run in marathons. She does not run in cheery singles groups. Although her distances have gradually increased and her thighs have gradually decreased, she does not run for fitness. Jenny runs for her soul, not her body. It is the fitness of her spirit that sets the tone of her days, changes their timber from strained to effortless. I run for perspective, says Jenny. When the client picks at her copy, Jenny detaches and soars above her frustration like the great blue heron. It is not that she doesn't care. It is that she has a new perspective, a bird's eye view on the place of her tribulations in the universe. <laughs> Interesting, eh? It's all about our attitude and how we perceive things and, and how we put it into play. And that's why these morning readings, or they're morning readings for me anyway, and why I'm sharing them with you, of what I do myself anyway, is we need time to sit back and, and to think things through because our, our lives are so busy and we're all on the run and you don't think about anything or notice anything or anybody. We need to stop and we need to pay attention and we need to increase our, our energy, our vibration, and what was it called? Our spiritual radio sets. Tune them in. <laughs> so I hope you have a great week. I send you my love. Until next week. Bye.